88 E6 microprocessor. Architecture. Welcome to my tutorial on microprocessor. Please subscribe my channel for regular weekly videos. The 8086 CPU is divided into two independent functional parts, the bus interface unit or BIU and the execution unit or EU. The BIU sends out addresses fetches instructions from memory reads data from ports and memory. The execution unit of 8086 tells the BIU where to fetch instruction or data from decodes instructions and executes instructions. The execution unit the EU contains control circuitry which directs internal operations. A decoder in the EU translates instructions fetched from memory into a series of actions which the EU carries out. The EU has a 16-bit arithmetic logic unit which can add subtract and or increment decrement complement or shift binary numbers. Flag register A flag is a flip-flop that indicates some condition produced by the execution of an instruction or controls certain operations of the EU. A 16-bit flag register in the EU contains nine active flags. For example, a flip-flop called the carry flag will be set to 1 if the addition of two 16-bit binary numbers produced a carry out of the most significant bit position. The six conditional flags in this group are the carry flag CF, the parity flag PF, the auxiliary carry flag AF, the zero flag ZF the sign flag SF and the overflow flag of the three remaining flags in the flag register are used to control certain operations of the processor. The three control flags are the trap flags TF, which is used for single stepping through a program the interrupt flag IF, which is used to allow or prohibit the interruption of a program and the direction flag df which is used with string functions. General Purpose Registers The EU has eight general purpose registers labeled BOB EH, VL, CH, Centiliter, DH, and VL. These registers can be used individually for temporary storage of a bit data. The AL register is also called accumulator. It has some features that the general purpose registers do not have. The 8086 general purpose register set is very similar to those of the earlier generation 8080 and 8085 microprocessors. The advantage of using internal registers for the temporary storage of data is that since the data is already in the EU it can be accessed much more quickly than it could be accessed in external memory. The BIU The BIU stores these prefetched bytes in a first-in-first-out register set called a queue. When the EU is ready for its next instruction it simply reads the instruction bytes for the instruction from the queue in BIU. This is much faster than sending out an address to the system memory and waiting for memory to send back the next instruction bytes. Segment registers The 8086 BIU sends out 20-bit addresses so T can address any of 1,048,576 bytes in memory. Four segment registers in the BIU are used to hold the upper 16 bits of the starting addresses of four memory segments that 8086 is working with at a particular time. The four segment registers are the code segment CS register, 
the stat segment SS register, the extra segment ES register, and the data segment DS register. Instruction pointer The next feature to look into in the BIU is the instruction pointer IP register. The IP register holds the 16 bit address or offset of the next code byte within this code segment. The value contained in the IP is referred to as an offset because this value must be offset from the segment base address in CS to produce the required 20-bit physical address sent out by the BIU. In coming sessions I am going to explain about the detailed internal architecture and various operations of the 8086 microprocessor including the signal diagram and functions of each pin of the 8086 MP so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for next updates. Thanks for liking the video. Sharing is caring. Please share this video on your Facebook Google Plus and Twitter profiles. Thank you. Meet you in next session 6.